Hello again, in this video I'm going to be doing the ARP poisoning in environment, lab environment in INE's platform. But before we start talking about the ARP poisoning attack, I'd like to talk about the ARP protocol. So the ARP protocol or address resolution protocol, essentially what it means is, let me just take this picture, it's just a way for networking devices to uh, translate an IP address to a MAC address because for these devices to communicate with each other they need to know both their the, the uh, destination IP address and the destination MAC address so in this case we have this device and this other device but this one would like to communicate with this other device but it does not know its MAC address all it knows is its IP address so it does an ARP request requesting this machine's uh, MAC address when this machine's uh, when this machine receives this ARP request it's like well hey this is me I am 34.40.21.20 and here is my MAC address and once this uh, ARP communication is made the MAC address of uh, the device is saved into the ARP cache table and this ARP request and the reply is no longer needed in the future. In our case, what we'll be doing is we'll be playing a man in the middle attack. Essentially, we'll be poisoning this ARP uh, communication. So, uh, what, we'll, what we'll be doing essentially is just sending ARP um, replies without being requested anything. So, we'll just be sending unsolicited ARP um, replies. What this means is we'll be sending a ARP message to this to this device, ARP reply to this device, and ARP reply to this device, for example, without them without having them uh, requesting anything from us. So we'll be saying, "Hey, I am the gateway, and this is my MAC address." And we'll be doing the same thing here. "Hey, I am the gateway. I am this device, and this is my MAC address." And the communication is going to be made from our device it's going to be routed from our device we'll be receiving the communication of both devices looking at what they are doing uh, if we assume that the communication is unencrypted and we'll be forwarding the packets if that makes sense so let's uh, read this so it says that in this lab environment the user is going to get access to a kali gui instance there is a telnet server and a client machine on the same network and the client machine authenticates with the telnet server every 30 seconds. Attacks can be performed on both machines by using the tools installed on blah blah blah. So the objective is to identify the telnet server and the client machine, steal the telnet login credentials by performing an ARP poison attack and log into the server. So this is the interface we'll be using and we're not supposed to attack the gateway. This is our scope. Okay, uh, so let's go back. Let's go to the lab environment and see what my IP address is. So we are .140 on a slash 24 subnet mask. So let's run nmap on this whole network to see what's going on. .0 slash 24. Uh, switch here and wait for nmap to finish mm. oh it's taking some time Okay, so we have the results back. Um, let's take a look. So this is the gateway. This is out of scope. So this is the Telnet server that they were talking about. And this is the host that is authenticated, authenticating to this Telnet server, that is connecting to this Telnet server. And this one is out of scope. I think, oh, this is us. Yeah, <laughs> this is me. Yeah, so, uh, before we do anything, we want to uh, tell our Kali machine or this instance to forward packets. In order to do that, we need to, because 
um, in this example, we don't want to um, break the communication between these devices. All we want to do is receive uh, their communication, receive the, the message that is, that is being sent for machine A, look at it and see what's inside of it, and then forward that message to machine B and do vice versa. We don't want to break the communication. All we want to do is look at it and perform a man in the middle attack. So in order to uh, enable uh, IP forwarding, uh, I think it's net IP, yeah, IPv4 and IP forward, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, okay, that's done. So the uh, so our machine knows now to forward uh, packets. So now we need to use this tool ARP spoof check i for our interface. We'll eat one. Tech, um, let me look at the main page. So tech t for 10.100.13.37 and tech r for 10.100.13.37. If we look at the main page, TACT it specifies a particular host to our poison, and TACR R it, it means poison both hosts, host and target. This is the target and this is the host. So th the traffic is going to be captured in both directions, if that makes sense. Uh, so let's launch this, and um, let me just yeah. I did read this. So every 30 seconds, uh, the client machine is gonna be authenticating to the Telnet server. Let me start Wireshark from here. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, so we want to go to each one. Start capturing here. And wait for a few seconds, maybe. Okay, so let's look for Telnet here, filter for Telnet. We can stop the capture now, this is enough. So um, let's look at this one, follow CP stream. And as you can see, we have the credentials. In this case, we can see the credentials because it's Telnet and Telnet sends uh, credentials in clear text over the network. So if, for example, the uh, the user was authenticating to SSH, we would not be able to see this because it would be encrypted. It wouldn't look like anything. It would just be encrypted data. In this case, it's Telnet, so we are able to see the communication in this case. Um, okay, so let's save these credentials, copy. Well, let me just copy the password. Copy. Um, we go here. Okay. Close this or just leave it. Okay. So we want to tell that to ten. Hundred thirty six. Yeah. As for this, this. Okay. Correct. And. Did not copy. <laughs> did I not copy? Oh, I did. Okay, so we are in LS. Um, 
Yep, so we did log in into the template server using this ARP poison attack. Yep, it's a really small video, but as you can see, if you are using a uh, unsecure protocol like Telnet, for example, or just HTTP as another example, then you're basically uh, naked inside of a network, <laughs> if I can uh, say that. Yep. Uh, I hope you learned something out of this video, and good luck. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.